have a lot to do around the farm, so make it quick, please. What is it you wanted? Actually, I'm growing it, if you hadn't noticed. I'm the only person alive that can cultivate Nurn root from a seed to a fully grown plant. I had quite the mentor. He taught me everything he knew about the Nurn root and its strange properties. I haven't seen him in many years. I wonder what became of him. I used to be. There isn't much time for that in my life anymore, I'm afraid. I actually owned a shop in Vivek City long ago. But I had to leave all that behind when the Red Mountain erupted. <sighs> Perhaps someday I'll reopen a shop here in Skyrim. Is it that obvious? I've got my hands full here. Between the farm chores, cultivating my supply of Nurnroot, and keeping a tight rein on my sister Adori, there's little time for rest. I knew this day would eventually come. At least poor Cinderian died doing what he loved. His field research. I told the old fool he should take it easy, but he was too stubborn. Perhaps someday I'll continue where he left off. It's the least I can do, considering how much he did for me. Aduri is what some would call a free spirit. She likes to wander the fall forest for hours on end. My sister keeps telling me that the farm keeps us alive. But I don't really call this living. If we were still living at my alchemy shop in Vivek City, it wouldn't be so bad. She could wander the canals all day. But around here, there's a tremendous amount of work to get done. Not to mention the dangers she's not ready to face. This place is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. <sighs> you gathered quite a few of them, I see. I'll search through Cinderian's notes and find some more information about the Crimson Nurnroot and its properties. Thank you. You've done Alchemy a great service by helping to complete Cinderian's work. I'd like to give you this tome. It's one of Cinderian's greatest works. I believe you've more than earned it. When I was very young, I was sent to Skingrad in Cyrodiil to study with him. He was a strange Altmer. Paid more attention to his research than his own well-being. He lived in the basement of an inn, for goodness sakes. Well, after I fled Morrowind during the eruption, I made my way here. My family had purchased this farm, and it's all we had left. Years later, Cinderian simply showed up at our doorstep asking to stay for a while. Said he was going to do field research. He stayed with us for decades, became an uncle of sorts to Adori. One day he simply ran out to me in the field, excited that he'd made some sort of a breakthrough, and he was going to head out on another trip. He never returned. From the journal you discovered, I'm sure you know the rest. Always a pleasure. Where did all these pretty red plants come from? Remember, Uncle Cinderian? These are the plants he was searching for. The Crimson Nurn Root. They're beautiful. I can see why he wanted to find them. One day, these beautiful plants will make us famous and we can finally move off this farm. Thanks to Cinderian. I wish I could head to one of the capital cities. Maybe even back to Mornhold. Anywhere but here. How wonderful it would be to set what you see on a canvas so you'd have that memory forever. <laughs>